Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, DeBoss, for another video today. Today, guys, this is part two of Escaping the Prison. So last time, we basically went through all the different parts where we failed and went through one of the three endings of the game. So today, we are going to be going through the next ending, which is the file and the cell phone, I guess, because those are the only two items left that aren't fails. So these have to be the endings. So um, we're going to start off with the file, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. Let's uh let's see uh, what's gonna happen here. Kind of curious. Let's keep that volume kind of on the down low a little bit too. I don't want your guys' eardrums getting blasted out. Oh, let's try the window. I'm just curious to see what's gonna happen. Oh well, um, actually, you know what? Now that makes sense. There's really nothing below the wall. So, um. Yeah, we're going to ignore that one and just uh, go through the door. Yeah, the cell door is, like, way smarter. I mean, who who uses a window to escape anymore? Don't look at me like that. I know what you guys are thinking. I have never tried that. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, tap? Whoa, Henry. You are like uh, a, a, a jujitsu ma- a, Wow, a karate master, man. You are really good with that metal bar. Just knock two guards out cold. Alright, what are we going to do here? Oh, so basically, we have to either, I guess, throw a belt of grenades or use the chair for something. Let's go with the grenades. I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. Oh, he's going to throw the grenade. It, really? Are you kidding? Yeah, I agree with the game. I don't even know what to say about that one. How the heck do you miss two guards standing right in front of you? And have the grenade ricochet into the exact same room that you're standing in to blow yourself up. That's that's uh, that's kind of bad, Henry. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, let's just go with the chair. <laughs> we should just go with the chair in the first place. Uh, gee, I don't know. Let's go left. What what could possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we're we're crawling through the vent. We're gonna escape from the jail. I mean, and oh, well. <laughs> Well, that happened. <laughs> of all the things that could happen, you happened to land in the one room where a whole bunch of guards were. I love that one guard. He's just like, ah! he's just throwing himself on Henry from across the table. Uh, that's pretty funny. Okay, so now we know to go with the chair, and uh, we're going right this time, not left. Where, what do we have here? Oh, we're on the roof. Oh, there's a box. Which is apparently full of this stuff. Um, Let's go with the jetpack. I'm curious to see if that'll work. Come on, Henry, let's go. Use the jetpack. Wow, that was a... What the heck? Wait, what was that long explanation? What was that? <laughs> Takes many hours of jetpack training for you to operate one. Well, uh, I think it's evidenced by the fact that uh, Henry had no idea what he was doing and ended up back in the same jail cell he just escaped from. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say so. Let's go with the rope. Okay, see, so far it's where... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that would hurt. That would actually burn your hands on the rope, so I, I that's actually pretty accurate. Hey, he made it! Yay! Good for you, Henry. Oh. Well, if you ever wanted to know how the bank people were going to get back at Henry for robbing the bank, um, it's kind of kind of like life uh, throwing a curveball at him. He just escaped from prison. He fell like a couple hundred feet swinging on a rope. He was fine. And then he gets hit by a, uh, a bank truck. One of those transport trucks they transport money in that he robbed. That's, that's kind of ironic. So, yeah, let's go with the parachute. That's a classic one. Come on, parachute. Let's work! Okay, Henry, now would be a good time. Oh. Whoa, um, no parachute then? Well, that sucks. <laughs> I thought that was just a regular backpack. See what happens when you assume. Well, excuse me, it looked like a backpack that contained a parachute, alright? What idiot puts a bowling ball inside a bag anyway on a roof of a prison? Well, it just happened to be Henry's luck. Well, then, at least we know that it just leaves the plungers. The plungers have to work. 
Let's see what we got here. Oh, see, there you go. So wait, you're telling me that the rope wouldn't have worked and the jetpack wouldn't have worked. We couldn't have gone with any epic ending. We couldn't even have gone with the freaking parachute. It had to be plungers. I mean, are you kidding? I mean, it, w w whatever. Anyway, so, um, that was weird. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, that was the second ending of, uh, Escaping the prison, guys. I have to say, that was actually it was a lot smoother than I thought it was, even if the plungers are kind of unrealistic, which is to be expected with a stickman game. Who, who are we kidding? So, um, anyway, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Next time, we'll be going with the cell phone, so I guess that'll be the final part of uh, Escaping the Prison. So, I hope you guys will look forward to that, and again, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comment section down below. I'm always curious to know what you guys think. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to catch the next video. Always appreciated. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.